we haven't had a good 3D printing story in a long time. Unfortunately, this is not one of the... No. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm actually kidding. This is actually a pretty interesting uh, usage of 3D technology. There's this cat. His name is Vincent. And he was born with a genetic defect. Uh, he didn't have any rear tibias. So basically, the deformation uh, could have spelled death for this cat because the, the rear tibias, you know, help if you have a cat that, you know, that the cats are very active and they need to be able to get around and whatnot. And what they did was they were able to 3D print some legs for this cat and they literally screwed the, the metal into the bone and the bone's going around the legs of the cat or for the, the, on the back half of the cat here. The cat is apparently is three years old now. He's doing quite well. Although there is this picture where the, the it's the opening uh, scene of a video and this cat's looking at the camera and I was kind of joking with Connie at the staff meeting uh, This last week and the cat's looking at the camera like kill me. Please just kill me <laughs> I'm half a cat man. Just kill me. I'm kidding of course, but this is cutting-edge technology Now if if we could do this for cats, can we do this for other animals? I kind of speculated uh, for it could we do this with like animals that are, you know, a lot more uh, less expendable, like horses, for example. You know, if they break a leg or whatever, because usually they say you have to put the animal down. I don't know a whole lot about horses. I just know that they're really big, and you got to hold your hand flat if you feed them. Otherwise, they will, like, snap your fingers off or, or whatever or whatever else you put in your hand if you try to hold your – just don't, don't, don't let the animal near your fingers. So – that's all I know about them. <laughs> they pull plows and shit like that. Uh, or they're, and you can ride them, I guess. You can't ride the cat, though. I'm just saying. Don't, don't, don't try to ride your cat. Uh, unless you're He-Man. Unless you're He-Man. <laughs> oh, Cringer. That's Cringer. <laughs> but he's Battle Cat. Yeah, but he's also Two Battle Cat, two. too. So that's a different story. <laughs> kind of your thoughts. Uh, I thought it was interesting because I'm looking at the cat and thinking, well, what about, you know, like dogs, you sometimes see them with little wheelchairs mm -hmm. strapped to their butt when they don't have legs and stuff. Um, evidently, strap-on prosthetics is not usually a viable option in animals, according to the website of the group that did the actual surgery on the cat, uh, Biometrics. Uh, Biometrics was founded in 1989, and I went to the site, and they primarily work with dogs and cats. And I'm looking at their surgeries, and I'm looking at this cat's surgery, and I'm going, oh, that was almost just exactly like my surgery on my hip mm -hmm. in May. Uh, I had a full hip replacement on, on the right side. I had pins put in, a couple pins put in, and then I have uh, the top part of my femur uh, is was actually a, a replacement too. And the, the way that they did that is they inserted the uh, metal, I think it's titanium metal post inside of my femur. And my bone is now, and my muscles are now making that a part of me. They're, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's closing it around it and it's making, and that's a similar thing that they did with this cat. They have this, this biometrics place uh, has some really amazing Things that they can do, they showed a video, I watched a video about a dog, you know, showing if a dog had a, basically a shattered tibia or femur, mm -hmm. um, how they have a, a series of something that they can insert, a rod they can insert, and it has places where they put pins in it, and it's it's slightly different uh, surgery, and it can actually cause the entire bone to heal. Um, so, yeah, it's... Uh, real, real quick, I, I went ahead and I looked it up about horses, and evidently when a horse breaks its leg, it doesn't heal as well as we do. Really? Uh, yeah, there's not a lot of muscle and not a lot of, a ton of blood flow on horses' legs, I guess. Um, and then given the fact that they are such big, heavy animals, when a horse breaks its leg, they and they usually can't stay very still. They don't, depending on the horse itself, I guess, uh, because they can kind of be nervous, they... Um, move around too much or thrash and uh so the leg doesn't you know sometimes the leg doesn't heal it's really so i, I don't know if, it would be interesting if this uh maybe we, maybe we need maybe yeah. we should get horses wheelchairs you know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> keeping the wheelchair for a little while you know you're on respite but anyway 
Anyway. So yay for the cat. Yeah, yay, yay, <laughs> yay for the cat. Dave, your thoughts? Uh, yeah, I think this is a really cool thing. I, they said that this has been done about 25 times. Mm. Um, yes. Yeah. To their knowledge, at least. And I, th- I think that's great. I, I know that a cat with three legs is pretty much the same as a cat with four legs. Um, they generally do not do anything for one missing leg on a cat because they are able to do, for the most part, everything that they'd be able to do otherwise. Really? <laughs> okay. Um, but missing two legs for a cat can cause a lot of problems. Um, and they had to replace them because, you know, they would still try to walk on the stubs that the cat had, and that would cause all sorts of sores, um, which is apparently quite common in cats that have any kind of amputation in general. Um, or if they're just born with a defect. Or in this, this case, a deformity. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um so I think I think it's great to be able to do something like this. Uh, I think that the prosthetics look very strange. Well, it's, uh, you know, it's yeah, it's not nature. You know, it's, no, they look a bit like like door stoppers. They do look like door stoppers, actually. Yeah. Why Why do you think they had them so short? That's what that's, I was. That was another question that I had. I don't know why they're so short. Maybe because that's how the cat. I mean, that's about how much the cat had in the first place before the okay. surgery, right? That's possible yeah i think that no that i haven't it actually looked might at some of the other videos or pictures of him i and how they inserted the posts in his legs because i saw some of the x-rays and stuff um that makes sense it looks like i mean just judging from the the, the screenshot i was looking at here earlier it kind of looks like the the legs are actually almost too long because it, you know most cats they when they sit on their their haunches on the back they're sitting you know their whole body sitting on the bo- on the floor here it looks yeah, like this that cat might be is... something as well, being able to comfortably sit or lay down. All right. And this cat is just like, his, like his butt is like a couple inches up off the ground. I don't know if in that, since it's a still shot, I don't know if the cat was getting ready to get up or he was just sitting down or he hasn't, or this is as far as he can go. I don't know. Yeah, I, I well, mean, again, it, something like this is great for, for if you've got an animal as a pet. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I don't know if the technology is there for. I, I don't think that that cat could survive outside of the house for very long. Yeah. No. Oh, absolutely not. Definitely, I don't think that cat would survive outside the house. This is but, definitely a house cat. But it's but it's progress. It is. Yeah. It is. I mean, every small step we take for animals eventually translates into humans somewhere down the line, and I think that's the best part about this, is that even though you know we're doing this to help our pets. We are actually, in turn, are helping ourselves in the long run. Yeah, L- less than you actually would think. There's yeah. not a lot of communication between veterinary medicine and, like, uh, human medical medicine. Yeah. Well, I, I understand. It's unfortunate. There should be more. Yeah, and no, you're right. There should be more. Like this will lead to that. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, the general idea. I mean, you know, they they uh, they look at this thing, and say, hey, we could do this with this animal. It's like somebody comes along, and says, you know what? What if we did this with a human? Or, you know, or something along the same line. I mean, it gives people ideas. For example, take, uh, kind of not completely off topic, Star Trek. It was just a TV show, but it still inspired a lot of scientists to go on to do stuff that's very similar to it or, sure. yeah, or whatever. The, and the, the, that was, you know, it's all fake. But, I mean, that didn't stop it from being inspired for, uh, to, to do a thing that makes it real. So yeah. this could be... One thing that somebody could say, hey, I saw your cat do this, and I'm in medical research for X. You know, and it's like, that gives me an idea to improve something else down the line. So, don't know. I mean, it, it's possible. I, I would say it's possible. I'm not going to say rule it out completely. All progress rests on the shoulders of giants. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs>